Welcome to NHK Newsline. It is Tuesday, February 13th. I'm Aichida in Tokyo. We begin in North Korea, where the country's leader is reportedly celebrating a visit by high-ranking officials to the south for the Pyeongchang Olympics. Let's bring in Aiko Doden from our Ion Asia team. For the latest, Aiko, what are you hearing uh, out of the north? Well, there's been a lot of talk about the Olympics generating a thaw in relations on the Korean peninsula. And now, state media is quoting Kim Jong-un as calling for an even warmer bond between the two countries. After getting a briefing from his delegation about his visit, Kim reportedly instructed senior officials to keep improving relations with the South. The front page of the ruling party's newspaper shows Kim with delegation members, including his sister Kim Yo-jong. The paper says the leader is grateful that Seoul prioritized the delegation's visit. Over the weekend, Kim Yo-jong delivered an invitation from her brother to the South Korean president to hold talks in Pyongyang. Moon Jae-in said there needs to be talks between Washington and Pyongyang before any visit could take place. Meanwhile, U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson says it's too early to discuss U.S. talks with North Korea. It's really up to the North Koreans to decide when they're ready to engage with us in a sincere way, a meaningful way. They know what has to be on the table for conversations. That marked a step back from comments U.S. Vice President Mike Pence made in an interview with The Washington Post. He suggested the Trump administration would be willing to hold talks with the North while maintaining a pressure campaign on the country. U.S. officials have said on other occasions that there will be no direct engagement with Pyongyang until it shows a willingness to denuclearize. We asked an expert for his thoughts on what could be behind the North Korean charm offensive. Katsuhisa Furukawa is a former member of the U.N. Security Council panel of experts on sanctions against North Korea. He believes that when Kim Jong-un is confident in the North's weapons development, the leader might then focus on getting economic assistance from the South. Kim Jong-un has been pursuing two specific objectives. One is to establish ICBM capability, and second is to uh, simultaneously advance the North Korean economy. And he appears to believe that uh, North Korea has achieved or is almost uh, uh, able to achieve its ICBM capability. So therefore, since last fall, he has been shifting his uh, uh, focus on the domestic economy. And now for that purpose, uh, currently uh, North Korea is engaging South Korea as a potential partner.